hot to hot today. Oh, Lord. Oh. Hello, Miss Sabrina. How are you, love? Hold on a minute. I got to get me all set up here. Hi, Jaja. How are you? I don't want to miss anybody. I got to get myself set up on my phone here. Because, hi, Andrea. Sometimes the comments go too fast here, so I, I look down here. Okay. Here we go. Looking like a strill on Bond Street today. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. What's that? What just happened? Oh. Okay. My hair's soaking wet. Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday night. Hi, Genevieve. How are you? Okay. Wet hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Nuts. I need a haircut. I really need a haircut. My arm is uh, saying it's a pain in the butt. I find um, in the evening, like it's starting to throb a little bit more. But by the time I get off this live, oh, it's going to be done. Um, I find in the nighttime is worse. It's so, so bad in the nighttime. Yay, I'm glad you made it too, Jaja. How was everyone's day, everyone's weekend? Oh, I was asked to bring up my black mirror. Here it is. I know Miss Lorinda. Oh my God, do you know what I forgot to do? Ah, I forgot to flip and do the numbers. Um, okay, if I don't see any comments coming up on the screen, it's because I'm back into my videos going through and giving everyone numbers. Oh, I forgot to do that, shoot. We went out today, um, you're not going to believe it, I slept, well, I got up this morning at 9.30, and I made a tea, and I went back to bed around 10.30, hi, Sioban, and uh, I probably, did I say that right, is it Sioban or Sioban? So, around 10.30, I go back to bed, just lying in bed, right, watching some um, videos or scrolling through Facebook, and I fell back to sleep, and I woke up at like 2 o'clock, swear to God, but we went to bed late last night. All of us, like the whole family went to bed late last night. And then, so I got up at 2, had a tea, had some breakfast, and then at 4 o'clock we went shopping, took the kids to go get some more school stuff because they start this week, and totally forgot to give everyone numbers for this giveaway. So I'm going to be doing that while I'm talking with you guys. So tell me what y'all have for dinner. Right. Crackers. Oh, I gotta go through all of this. Okay. Okay, this is the first one. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through and remove. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and remove the comments uh, with the wrong answers. Hi, Dagny. It's Siobhan. Oh. Okay, Siobhan. Hi, Kyla. How are you? So that's why I'm just going to go and remove comments that don't have the right answer to make it so much easier. Okay. Shoot. That's wrong, too. Crappers, crappers. <laughs> didn't I have... Didn't I have a giveaway at saying what my favorite lipstick was wasn't that one of the answers for my my giveaway what was your favorite milani lipstick i missed somebody in the comments just then i wonder if i press this button if it oh it comes up okay hi labby girl how are you oh you're in newfoundland oh i can scroll down i just realized oh my god I've been doing lives for two years now, and I just realized that I can scroll down to see the comments. Okay, um, in case your number gets called because you just won your birthday giveaway, you would like to choose another lovely lady. Okay, yeah, um, in, in my giveaways, usually if you won one within six months, then um, you have to wait like six months. Crackers. I'm so confused right now, guys. What well, didn't I have... I'm trying to read here. Andrea, can you help me out? <laughs> oh my God, I'm so messed up right now. I'm 
I'm trying to figure out how many. Maybe I had three giveaways. Did I have did I have three giveaways this week? Because I know one of my giveaways, the answer was to tell me um, um, the first ColourPop eyeshadow palette I bought. That was a, a giveaway. And then another one was to tell me what my favorite um, bullet lipstick brand was. And I don't know what this is. I think another giveaway was to tell me what you liked. Okay, that's just, okay. You know what, guys? I'm going to do a video tomorrow. I know I said I was going to do it tonight. But, I, oh, God, Lisa, put down your arm. Oh, um, I'm all over the place. Sorry, everybody. Uh, I just didn't have time to go down through all of the comments today. So I'm going to make a video tomorrow. And um, pick all the winners. Because I think I had three giveaways. Am I right? Did I have three giveaways? I already picked the lipstick one. Did I? Oh my God, who won? Oh my God, I'm so, who won the lipstick one? Did I pick a winner? The Milani, yes, right? That was one. And then there was the ColourPop one. And then I'm looking through my first Shopper's Drug Rat video, and I'm not seeing um, the Milani. I'm seeing, I think I had three giveaways this week. Honestly, I think it was three. God, I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. Anyway, I'll do a video tomorrow and pick all three winners. It was a Tuesday one, and what you would choose to be, yes. Okay. Let me just get back on here. I'm like all over the place right now. Oh. Okay, I'm I'm back in. I'm back into my live. Okay. McDo oh, you have McDonald's, Andrea? Yummy. What do you have at McDonald's? Do you have chicken nuggets? Labby, what part of Newfoundland are you from, love? Hi, Dana. Did I get my results back from my MRI? So I did uh, the MRI they did on my shoulder and my scapula. They came back normal. Um, Friday, I had an x-ray on my spine. And I'm getting an MRI, MRI done on my neck. So my family doctor thinks it's something to do with my neck. Because he don't think it's a pinched nerve. Because I can move my neck, right? And it... It doesn't hurt like a pinched nerve would, but I can't look up. If I look up, then um, I get intense pain going down my shoulder and into my arm. So he thinks it might be something to do with my neck. Hi, YS. How are you? Yeah, I, I know. I didn't do the ColourPop one. Jaja is saying that. Oh, Andrea, you were the winner of the lipstick. Okay, of the Milani. Okay, God. Oh, my God, Andrea. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. See, Andrea, send me a message. Um, oh, my God. What a week. I've had such a week. Like, this week has been, oh, it's just been highs and lows. And it was a week. I had quite the week. How was everyone else's week? Tell me something good that happened during the week. Hi, Miss Lorinda. Oh, you're in the Twillingate area. Labby, my mom is from Summerford. Yeah, yeah, I said she went to Shoppers Drug Mart and they didn't have any. Yeah, isn't that weird? Like all across Canada, some places had it and some places didn't. And then some places had just like samples and, you know, it was just, I think they should all do the same thing, you know? Um, hi, Patricia. You're glad to be able to watch the live tonight. You really need to change your mind and positive vibes. Woohoo! Payday. Payday is always good. That's where you're from, actually. Who's your mother? Who's your mother? My mom's name is. <laughs> oh my God, Labby. I don't. I don't even know if I want to mention. Um, my my mom's. Well, some of them ha had. Uh, rough 
rough reputations when they were a kid. My mom's surname is Brown in Summerford. She moved um, to Grand Falls, Windsor when she was 16. I'm trying to do my eyebrows, everybody, but I'm not that great at it. Um, I had a hot dog for dinner. What did everyone else have for dinner? Oh, Kyla, you were on holidays this week. Good for you. Did you do anything? I know there's not like many places we can go. Well, that's not true. We can always go to Europe if we want to. But here's the thing about if we say if we wanted to go away, right? Get on a plane and go somewhere overseas. Most people usually only get a week for holidays. So you go away overseas and then you come back and you got to go in quarantine for 14 days. So who's got three weeks off? Thank you, Lorinda. I don't know what happened, but thank you, love. Andrea said a good thing for her what, this week is that she started a new, oh, a nighttime skincare regime. So what are you doing, Andrea? What products are you using? I'm, I'm just trying to do something, I don't know. To make my eyebrows not look so bald, I have a bald spot here and here. You know, the 90s when thin brows were in? Okay. Um, they said that it depends on... Uh, yeah, and that's right. It depends on the Shoppers Drug Mart owner. That's true because I know that um, when I was talking to one of the girls who works there and I asked if she was going to make any more bags and she said, well, it depends on if the manager wants to or not, right? So I'm assuming, you know, those owners... They shouldn't be so cheap. I think shoppers should come up with something that it should be the same all across Canada. It's not fair, you know? Hi, Jody Lynn. How are you? Yes, but do I look like them, Labby? Hi, Barb. Oh, Barb, how are you? Hi, love. How you doing? I was thinking about you the other day saying, well, I thought that you were going to make some videos. Maybe the kids are going back to school. So how's that going? Patricia said her neurologist decided to completely take you under her care. So you're going to be hospitalized for a few days? Oh, no. A lumbar puncture, brain and spinal MRI, nuclear med exam of the brain. So that's your good news. Okay. I hope it's not. Um, I hope none of that is going to hurt and cause pain, Patricia. I'm just sticking on some um, Girl Ann primer here. Hi, Suana. How are you? You missed the last two due to work. Work's a pain in the butt, isn't it? God. Why we got to work? Why, S, you still got to cook dinner? What are you making, love? For all, everyone who just showed up, what do y'all have for dinner? Dagny, you just grabbed some A&W. <laughs> Andrea. Kyla, you just chilled and hung out with Sabrina. Okay. Thank you, Lorinda and Andrea. Story of your life, Dana. Um, your your brows are practically non-existent. I cannot for the life of me to my eyebrows. Oh my god, if I try, I have them too thick or too dark. I don't know how they do eyebrows. I don't have you know, I don't have patience for that either, you know? And my eyesight is not that great, so how am I supposed to see really where you're supposed to put it? When you get over 40, I'm telling you, your eyesight is done. Done when you hit over 40. Patricia said she's going to shave her head and give your hair to charity. Oh, good for you, Patricia. Good for you. Do you have to go um, through chemo, Patricia? I have no idea. Oh, Barb, I can't imagine you because you have six kids now, right? I can't imagine what it's like for you, Barb. Jody Lynn, you had your birthday in the park today. It was your, oh, your baby's first and your husband's 40th. We were good and followed the limit of 25 people in a gathering. Your baby wasn't interested in a smash cake at all. <laughs> I bet not. Well, happy birthday to your baby, Jody Lynn, and to your husband. Tell him that I said that his eyesight is about to get worse. Just so he knows, when you hit 40, that's the first thing to go is your eyesight. 
Andrea is using the Luna sleeping oil with lactic acid one night and the next night using the Glam Glow recipe or Honeymoon Glow. Oh, okay. You're currently in your second quarantine, so no school yet. Some of the kids' tests came back. Oh, negative. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, Barb. So in Alberta, was there school and now it's down to quarantine again? Like what happened? Were they initially supposed to go back to school or is it up to the parents? Blabby girl, uh, I don't look like the Browns. You're much <laughs> nicer than them. Oh, oh, Uncle Gus. Yeah, I I haven't seen any of them in years. Oh, my God. Um, I took Ian and the girls. They've only been to Newfoundland once. Ian's only been there once. We went in 2012, and I think that's the last time I seen. If I did see Uncle Gus, I don't know if I did. Um, but we did make take a visit out there, right, one day. And we went on um, the boat on the long liner and Ian was amazed because it was capelin season and my uncles, a couple of my uncles were bringing in their capelin and they were in their different boats, which was cool because we're like in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and one boat shows up with an uncle and another boat showed up with an uncle and these are big, massive boats, like you know, right, Labby? And Ian was amazed because they pulled up a net of capelin and there were millions. Like, it was insane. And we got pictures of the kids pretending to eat the capelin and it was fun. The weather is so bad there. Jaja, is, oh, it's smoky with the fires from California. I know, they're having such bad fires. It's scary. I know BC and Alberta um, has problems with fire, forest fires often too, right? How's it going for everybody in BC, Alberta with the forest fires? Jaja, are you, are you anywhere near those fires? I know you're in, oh, you're in Vegas, aren't you, Jaja? You're thinking of having a sandwich? I love a sandwich. Especially if it's a, you know, a son of a Baconator from Wendy's. Those are my favorite kind of sandwiches. Or a grilled cheese with bacon. Sabrina said something good that happened to her this week was Friday. Oh, you won $1,000? Good for you, Sabrina. Your, um, ja, ja, Jody. Jody's mom lives in the Bay Area, and it's crazy. It's literally orange outside. Wow. Hi, Teresa. You're also being stalked by, oh no, by the biological family member of one of your kids. Oh no, Barb, that gotta be scary. For those of you who don't know, Barb is a foster mom and she's got six kids right now. You just can't do online schooling anymore. You just can't. I, I totally understand, Barb. Hi, Roxanne. She got her wine and her whiny child. Hi, Brianna. No chemo plan for Patricia, but they're looking for cancer, so you might as well do something good while you're able to. Oh, good for you, Patricia. Dana said her kids are going to bed after this live. Okay. Ja, all day today, it was an orange-yellow. You live in Washington. Oh, that's got to be scary. You love Goss. He's a doll. You haven't seen him in years either because, oh, you moved away from home 10 years. Oh, you're in the Whitbourne area. Okay. Yes, Suwana. Yes, Patricia. I hope it all improves and they, you know, find out what's happening. Hi, Avalyn. Hi, Avalyn. It's time for you to go night-night now. <laughs> Thank you. Please, yes, um, like the video. Oh, my God. So, I wanted to talk about, I, I read it on our Facebook page. Um, and then I watched a video, and I, I didn't get any more information than what was on the video. But this tribe dynamics, does anybody know what the T is with that? If it's really bad, get a zero contact order, Barb, Dana said. Barb, I, Barb I'm telling you, Barb has a heart of an angel to do what she does. And she's such a great person and a great mom, you know, um, to give, I mean, so much love to kids who really, really need it. And Barb, is that child scared? Like, how is the child um, 
you know, who's going through that with his bio family. How are they? Are they scared? I'm putting on the um, La Essential girl on. Who else got this influencer box? Did anybody else? I know Roxanne got it. Did anybody else get that box from influencer? What a freaking box, eh? Oh, my God in heaven. The box, like, if you had to pay for it, go to Sephora and buy all three items. It's, like, over $300. Isn't that crazy? And we got it all for free. And I haven't done, I barely go into into uh, Influencer and do my snaps. Barely. So, to get that, I was, like, really? I thought they had my account closed because it's been two years since I got a box box. You're welcome, Roxanne. I know, right? Stressful, Barb. Oh my God, my heart's with you. Dana, you've gotten nothing from Influencer in over a year? Yeah, that was my very first box box in two years. The last one I got was um, the Fresh Beauty Rose Mask, and that's, I think I've only ever gotten, maybe that was the only box box I ever got, I think. So I was quite shocked to get that in the mail. And I mean, I rarely open up my Influencer app because it's pointless right you don't seem to have a lot of stuff for canadians influencer only sends you snacks <laughs> oh yay she calmed down oh that's good roxanne it's really difficult to get a no contact order there and to make it more complicated she lives in your community the child is young and don't know what's going on oh my god barb my heart goes out to you just be careful love I don't know what this foundation on the video is looking yellow, but it doesn't look like that here. I probably should have blended it with a little bit of the lighter shade I had. Maybe I'll go in and do that. Um, so anyway, this tribe dynamics. Does anybody know what is going on with that? I watched a video and it's of this influencer and she's she's Spanish. I think I think she's Spanish. Um, I don't know exactly where she lives, but she's a big influencer from what I've seen. And I don't know, somebody said it had something to do with Ipsy. Um, I'm trying to figure out what to say because I don't have that much information, but apparently she's a big influencer. And I think she was going to do a collab with Ipsy. And Ipsy partners with this company called Tribe Dynamics. And Tribe Dynamics is like this company for influencers and brands that, um, I don't know, keeps all of the statistics. And I'm a mess here. Keeps all the statistics and stuff. It just looks like it's really yellow. Um, anyway, they kicked her out. So now that collab that she was, you know, almost signing the dotted line on the contract is canceled and they're saying some people are saying that it's racist what they're doing um they were saying it's because she had too many influencers which don't make sense because some of their influencers have millions and millions of subscribers right like she's got a big amount as well so that was like the excuse that they used that she had too many influencers but that don't make sense right um and because they work ipsy works with tribe dynamics like i guess they're partners or something like that and that's who she was doing the collab with. So people are saying that they kicked her out and they're saying no to the collab now because they're racist. So does anyone anyone hear anything about it? Like, do you guys know what that's all about? I just don't like the color of this foundation on me right now. Let me get the other one. Okay, I'm scrolling. Labby gets food stuff from Influencer. Hi, Monte Carlo. You're being careful. Okay, Miss Barb. Thank you, Lorinda. Don't forget to like everybody. Hi, Jen. Jen Button. Madison Miller has tones. What does that mean? Madison Miller has tones. I don't understand. Um, Roxanne? I like watching her though. I watch her every Saturday morning. Hi, Kaden. How are you? How's school? Thank you, Monte Carlo. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting a message. The party we went to last night, um, 
so as I said, every year, one of our friends, Tina, her birthday is on the 11th, Ian's is on the 10th, and there's another gentleman that, well, I mean, we used to hang out with years ago, pre-kids, right? Um, and his birthday is on the 10th. So for the last five years, Tina would organize this birthday party, and they would, you know, all of them would have a cake, and then some of the friends that we haven't seen in years would show up. So that's where we went last night. I was home again by 1130. <clears throat> and then when we got home, the kids were still awake. So we decided to order pizza at like one o'clock in the morning and watch a movie. But it was fun. It was so we had such a good time. And we've seen some people that we haven't seen in years. There wasn't a lot of people there, maybe about I think there was probably 20 inside and 25 outside. Um, but we left at 1130. My arm was done by then. Tons of followers. Oh, Yes, Madison Miller. No, but this isn't not about Mel Madison Miller. Um, it's a Spanish girl, Mariella or something like that. And school is good. What grade is he in, Jaja? You have a squirmy kid? <laughs> Avalyn. Hi, Janet. You're watching a live on Netflix and you're hooked. Oh, good. Oh, it's a new show, Alive? You know what I did? I binge-watched um, the 100th on Netflix. Seven series of that I binge-watched. Now I'm watching Designated Survivor and binge-watching that one. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do after that. Oh, after that, I'm going to binge-watch Wentworth. Does anyone watch Wentworth? Wentworth is amazing. Um, and I think they're at episode number eight now. So I want to wait until it's all done. And then I'm going to binge watch it. Okay, I'm done. I'll stop pounding my face. Oh, the ninth. Okay. Such a good series. Oh, Labby, you love Wentworth? Oh, my God. Doesn't that, like, just not keep you uh, in your seat? The writing of that show is amazing. Did anyone watch it? It is amazing. In every episode, every season, you're like, what the heck is going to happen now? And they leave the season on such a cliffhanger. It's just, oh, you got to watch it. Um, Labby, if you want, if you haven't caught up with this new season, go to, I'm going to write it here in the comments. But it's one of those um, websites that shows movies and TV shows. But this one doesn't have any ads. Like, it's a legit site. Really, really good site. It's where I watch all of my shows and movies. Like, we've seen Milan, or it's there. I've seen half of it with Madison. So if you wanted to watch Mulan, you know, it's there. Jen said she finally got her September Ipsy on September 9th. Oh, that's pretty good. Jen, to get it on the 9th, you're enjoying the quartz roller you added on. Oh, good. Holy buggers. She said hi to me. He's a freshman. Oh, wow. Holy buggers. Ask him, do we say crackers yet or holy flip? <laughs> Any ladies want to say hi to this? Uh, no, not really, Monte Carlo. I think we're good. We're all married. And if we're not married, we're all probably happy. Maybe. We're here to talk about makeup. So if you got any advice on, you know, beauty tips or skincare, we're off for that. Well, we can say hi to you, yes, but not looking, you know, for a hookup or nothing like that, Monte Carlo. Hi, Susan. If your Bailey's Serum palette does not come by at the end of this week, you're canceling Ipsy. Oh, no, Dana. You still haven't gotten that bag? He just says bugger. Okay. <laughs> the dirty bugger. Wait, you don't, you don't say dirty bugger. You just say bugger. I think one day I'll get a cop saying dirty bugger. If we're not married, we're probably happy. So true. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know. I know. I was talking to this lady not too long ago, and she was married for like 25 years. And um, they split. And she said that just coming home to her house and knowing that the mess was just hers and everything was where she left it was heaven. 
And I'm like, can you imagine? I, I would imagine it kind of is heaven, isn't it? I don't know what that's like, but yeah. We all know. Janet. That's why we're all here on Saturday watching us. Yes. <laughs> he thinks it's funny. Okay, Jaja. White eyeliner on your bottom waterline makes your eyes look bigger and brighter. Just wipe it off with your finger and first apply it. That is a very good tip, Dagny. Janet said she had two husbands and that was enough. <laughs> I, I would imagine, Janet, that is a lot of patience, honey. Two, a lot of patience. Oh my God. So I guess nobody's heard anything. I haven't heard anything back from Ipsy. Um, and then I found out that Ipsy had, I think it was like 3 million subscribers or 4 million subscribers. So unless, you know, uh, we're going to need thousands of Canadians to cancel to get them to notice, I think. Uh, Monte Carlo, you're on two divorces as well? Okay, well, now you're living, are, are you living alone and you don't have to pick up after anybody? Barb is married 26 years later this month. Wow, Barb, congratulations. Well, I've been with Ian for 15. Um, has anyone gotten their boxy charm? I haven't even got tracking for boxy locks yet. I got this a shirt on and it's got like elastic in the waist part and it's itching the life right out of me. I want to take it off. Barb, you canceled Ipsy last month? Yes. Me too. I canceled both my accounts. 23 years for Jen? But not Lux. Okay. I haven't even gotten tracking for the boxy Lux. Does that usually come out later? Um, or is it just being slow because I just signed up for it? I mean, I signed up on the 1st of September, but I haven't even got tracking. Okay, so Andrea, you got your premium, but not no tracking for Lux yet. Janet said they both passed. You were widowed the first time after 25 years. Then again, after 20 years with the second one. Oh, wow, Janet. She left you because you didn't tell her that, they're, that they were $16,000 in debt. Well, you know, that's a, that's a big deal, $16,000, especially if it's all your debt, right? You think it's now 15 days from signing up. Oh, okay, so I thought it was always 10. Like once they take your money out 10 days after you get the tracking, maybe that's, I guess, different now with Boxy Lux. Interesting. Very good. COVID changed it, okay. Well, that does make sense, right? So um, my Look Fantastic, which, I cannot believe I got the tracking for it. I think on the second, it didn't leave the UK until the eighth. And I just got updated today that it's in Montreal. So I wonder how long it's going to take to get processed because usually I don't get my look fantastic until the end of the month or into the next month because of COVID. So did anybody else's look fantastic update? Barb said, Oh, Sabrina, you're 11 years with your hobby. Oh, congratulations. Barb said Ipsy sent you many emails offering free bags, palettes. I know they're relentless. I have three accounts. Well, I had three accounts at one point. I just canceled the only two that I had. So I have three emails and every day, at least three times a day, there's a new email from Ipsy. And Chick Beauty Box, which I'm telling you, I'm doing a video on Chick Beauty Box, the dirty little scammers. I'm not very happy with them. You're single with $24,000 in debt and happy. You know what, Monte Carlo? I don't think there's a person out there in this world unless they're, you know, rich. Who's not in debt? I mean, who isn't in debt? Everybody's in debt. I would assume most people, most people over the age of 40, <laughs> you know, or 35 are in debt. Hi, Genevieve says she, her spaghetti is ready. Oh, enjoy your spaghetti, Genevieve. You quit look fantastic, yeah. Dagny said she signed back up for look fantastic and you got tracking, but it hasn't moved. 
When did you get your tracking number, Dagny? You too, Monte Carlo. So Sawana, one divorce. Now you're with your common law partner for good 15 years. Good for you, Sawana. Oh, you got fireworks, Roxanne? Why, why would there be fireworks? Is there a holiday tonight? Do you know that um, it is illegal to shoot off fireworks other than the two holidays, Canada Day and the Queen's birthday? And if you were going to shoot off fireworks, you need to get a, um, like a pass from your town hall or from the fire department. I just found that out the other day. We always have fireworks going off here. Oh, you got it on the 4th. Okay. And when you track, Dagny, when you check your tracking, have you seen if it's left the UK yet? It happens every weekend. Same here. There's always fireworks. Same as Janet, yeah. Always fireworks. And Ian, being a fire a fighter, uh, last weekend he was working on Saturday, I think. He said there were some kids in the park shooting them off. So they, you know, they get a call. He gets a call even if someone's having, you know, like a little mini fire in their backyard. But um, if you have a little mini fire in your backyard and you're worried that a neighbor's going to call about that mini fire. I mean, obviously be an adult and watch it and make sure nothing goes crazy. But bring out a pack, a pack of <clears throat> sorry, hot dogs and you should be okay. Just a little FYI. How do you guys do it for being married for a long time? I think, you know what I think it is? You got to like the person and you, you know, you got to be with the right person. I think that's what it is. You, you got to like them, you know? Um, Avalyn's calmed down now and is cuddled up and watching me. Hi, Avalyn. Why, why did I take down my hair? Jaja said her parents were married 35 years when he passed away this month. Oh, wow. Passed away two days after your brother's birthday. Oh, that's sad. Same there for fires, right? It says rooted to destination on yours, so you don't know. Okay. So when it says rooted to destination, that means that it's left the UK and it's on the way to Canada. Um, so hopefully that updates soon and says it's in Canada. But the thing is, is how long, look, how long is it going to take to wait for it to process in Montreal? Because it, once it hits Canada, it's in Montreal and it goes through customs. And I'm telling you, sometimes my box would be in Montreal for like two weeks. So I'm hoping this time it's not as long. I'm just surprised because usually... It takes about two weeks to three weeks before it, once it leaves the UK, before I get that notice saying it's in Canada. So a surprise to see that it's in Montreal already. You got to be friends first. Yes, Janet. That's true. Oh, Roxanne, your Nikki palette's taking forever. Did anybody else? Bye, Susan. Did anybody else um, purchase the Nikki, Nikki Tutorials palette? Hopefully soon. Yes, hopefully soon. You always get an email with Milk Fantastic Hits Canada. Yes, I got mine today from Track Pack, right, Barb? Just a reminder, for those people who signed up for Glossy Box, you know, and did the three-month subscription, um, make sure you cancel before, before the 14th. Because if you don't, you're going to get recharged for those three months. And if you don't cancel before the 14th for boxy for glossy box, you're getting recharged. So it's not like any time in a month you can cancel. You have to cancel before the 14th. So in a couple of days, make sure you're canceled. And that's for glossy box. Or you're gonna get recharged. And that box is not worth, you know, the money in USA um, and convert it to Canadian for three months. It's it's not. You want to get glossy box, you want to get a discount, you know what I mean? And pay less than $20 for that box because it's definitely not worth like $35. Track back, yeah. Has anyone um, gotten the Look Fantastic advent calendar? I'm still waiting to see spoilers for the glossy box advent calendar and I'm going to choose one or the other. I mean, hopefully glossy boxes. I wasn't too into what they have coming for the um, Look Fantastic advent calendar. So I'm hoping Glossy Box is a little bit better. 
and usually glossy box or usually look fantastic has a better calendar than glossy box in my opinion but this year i wasn't impressed with look fantastic so i'm hoping glossy box is better but there's a lot of money to spend right and they had a lot of um deluxe size samples and a look fantastic advent calendar and for canadians what was it somebody bought one i think it was well over a hundred bucks like 120 130 dollars something like that Brianna said she saw spoilers for the Look Fantastic Advent Calendar. It looked nice, but it wasn't... Yeah, but you weren't thinking, wow. Right? I mean, the stuff was nice, but it was mostly deluxe size samples. And for 110 or 20 whatever it was in Canadian, it wasn't worth it for me. For the... You know, if, if more were full-size samples, then I would have said, okay, this is a good deal. But for all those deluxe size samples, you know, that half of them we've probably gotten in our boxes already... Um, yeah, it wasn't, uh, I definitely didn't want to spend my money on it. And then the credits, the credit that I have in my account for Glossy Box, I want to use some of that towards my next three month subscription, which I'll get sometime in October, but I'll wait until there's like a 25 or 30% off Glossy Box before I order that three month subscription. The UK Glossy Box had 14 full sizes. I know, right? Did anyone get the mystery box, the top box for September? Not yet, Labby. Um, hopefully that's coming this week. But usually they say it's not sent out until the 15th. But, you know, the top box is all over the place. You just, it's weird. Some people will get it on the 5th of the month. And plus, look, um, Lux box from Top Box, that's coming out this month as well. Who's getting that one? I'm scrolling here. Barb said there wasn't a single item in the Look Fantastic calendar that made you excited. Right, Barb? It didn't look bad, but the U.S. is very different. Yes. And that's the thing with Glossy Box, too, guys. If you're looking for spoilers for the Glossy Box Advent calendar, make sure you put in Glossy Box USA. Because I know last year a few people bought Glossy Box thinking the U.K. box was what we were going to get. And... It's always different. So the UK Glossy Box is different from the USA Glossy Box. And we get the USA one. So if you're looking for spoilers, make sure you put in USA for that. Dana said she's going to be trying to finish most of your Christmas shopping between now and next month. So you're not trying to get things last month. Oh, yeah, this year during COVID. I haven't even thought about Christmas shopping. Janet said she got a top box with nail hair gummies and, oh, a micellar water. So you got gummies and micellar water. I probably didn't say that right. And what else did you get, Janet? Roxanne's got the mystery box. Maybe that's why your box is not on the way. Yes. Because um, I, got, I got one top box. Uh, so I got that. It's not my shade. I tried it. It's too light. It's not my shade. Um, so in one account, I picked this one. And in my other account, I picked the Caudalie Pride, but I didn't get an email. So I don't think I'm getting that. Um, and so I'm assuming, which is weird because my mystery box was in under my Hotmail account. And that one came from the Hotmail account. So I was surprised that I didn't get the mystery box with this one, but maybe they're sending it out with the other one. That was a regular box. Yes, Janet, that was that was most... If you got four items, it was the regular box. And it tells you on the box, um, you know, the white thing on the black box with your address and stuff, right at the bottom, it will tell you what box number that was. Lux, Top Box, and Mystery. Yeah, I'm still waiting for those three as well. Did I check out the Sinful Eyeshadow Palette yet? Not yet, sweetheart. Not yet. Glossy box last year wasn't bad. You enjoyed it. Yes, Roxanne, that's right, too. You liked it. I, now, I didn't like the glossy box last year, but you did. Jen said she just got an email that your September Allure box shipped. You just got it. Oh, Jen, you are so lucky to get the Allure box. And did they up their price? I read something, I think, saying that they were going to up it to 20 bucks. Is that true, Jen? 
As of last night, Rock said there were no spoilers for Glossy Advent. Yeah, I think they're um, the 24th or something of September. They're coming out with something. A deuce eyeliner and a quad, a highlighter. Okay. Oh, I remember seeing that now. The, the highlighter was from Hikari, right? And it was like dark highlight shades. And the clay mask too light yeah it's, it's too light for me save it for you um well uh, roxanne if i can't find somebody who's got the right shade for me i will um save it for you hi sylvie what shade your casper the r230 is your shade so it should suit me oh and you know right right the winter time that's true i'm going to match it with say my wintertime foundation and see how close it is you think it was seven okay box number seven you cannot sylvie you can't get a lure in canada really dark like eyeshadows almost yes janet right and i i've gotten hikari from um lip monthly years ago and Sweet Sparkle, the subscription box Sweet Sparkle. I don't not mine some of their stuff, but I still think it's like a filler. You know what I mean? Like a, a subscription box filler. I think most of the products we get are subscription box fillers. But I haven't heard anything bad about it. But yeah, the highlight was not for everybody. Has anyone ever tried the Luxury Divas box? Never heard of it, Jaja. Is it any good? And probably mostly why is maybe the shipping to Canada is brutal. Or because they don't ship to Canada. A lot of places just don't ship to Canada. I got a new bronzer the other day. What was it? Oh, this one, the ColourPop one. It's really shiny. Jen Button says she pays for the annual, so you get the free MAGA bundle. The price went up to $23 for monthly subs. Oh, but you get more full size. Oh, my God, you're so lucky. Um, I think it was Sherry who said that she was speaking with somebody at Allure, and they said that we were supposed to be getting the Allure box this year in Canada, but because of COVID, that didn't happen. So I'm wondering if, you know, we're going to get it next year. Like if that's really legit, right? Man, if they had a lore, I'd be all over a lore. I, if, they, if we were able to get a lore box here, I think Ipsy would um, have a run for its money. Because a lore box has some amazing items. Oh, I like this bronzer. This is ColourPop. Yeah, it comes with a lot of different stuff. It's a really, really good box. You should save enough stuff to send. <laughs> you should save enough stuff to send me in a lure box. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. I remember a couple months ago, a lure box had the Arizona perfume in it, and I was about ready to die. Um, Dana said she might be signing up for Chasing Unicorns this month. I never heard of it. What's in that box, Dana? Chasing Unicorns. Did any ladies find the $10 shopper bag? Did any of you guys get any luck with that $10 shopper's drug mart bag? Thank you, Jen Button. Me too. I have a uh, new subscription box that I will be hopefully unboxing on Monday. They went to deliver it yesterday, and my house line is old. Like, the phone is 15 years old. It's a cordless phone. And it was plugged into the chummy digger where it charges. And I'm thinking it's fine. And I look to find out like it's 2.30 now on Friday, right? I'm waiting all day for this box to show up. So I look at my tracking and it says, hey, they showed up, but nobody was home. So I go look at my phone and the phone is dead. So when, I, when you put the phone in a charger, like you got to make sure the light comes on. And I guess that didn't happen the last time somebody put it in the charger. So I missed the box. And hopefully they delivered on Monday, but it's a new Canadian subscription. Mm -hmm. um, have you guys seen it? It's the Affluence, Affluence box. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, it's every three months, the subscription box, but it was 
dollars and I was not spending eighty dollars on this box so I got this email saying to get it for fifty percent off so I went in I went through you know a whole thing of signing up for it and there was free shipping so I'm like okay I'll get it for forty bucks see what it's like you know and be able to unbox it and let you guys know what it's like but I think I'll be canceling afterwards because I don't need an $80 every three month box. I mean, that's boxy charm, you know what I mean? And I mean, we don't know what kind of brands are coming in this box either, right? So I'm gonna cancel it and then keep my eye on it. But I think it was all like clean beauty. It's a self care monthly box, all natural items. Oh, Dana, is it Canadian? How much is it? Dagny said she's got a video up for two of them. There were all small perfume and skincare samples. Oh, crackers. Sawana said she haven't popped into her local shopper, so you don't know if they offer swag bag for 10 in Calgary. Does anybody know what shoppers are like in Calgary if you're getting the $10 bag and if it's samples or... And the thing is, every shoppers is different and, and it's up to the owners if they want to do it or not, which I think they should have it, you know, as a, a rule. All shoppers, $10 bag, and make sure you put some good stuff in it, you know? Uh, Sylvie hasn't seen it in London. Okay, so it's 35 USD plus shipping and 20% off auto renew. Okay, Dana. Hi, Rosie. One of the shoppers near you didn't have the bags, but they have very small packages, like two or three items. Okay. I meant to go to the uh, shoppers across my street, my little tiny shoppers, because they had the bags but skincare. And there was really, really good skincare. And I was thinking that would be a great giveaway bag. And I totally forgot. And today is Saturday. And today was the last day. So I don't know if they're going to have any bags tomorrow. Um, crackers. I meant to do that. Flip. I need a blush. I need a blush. One of the shoppers... Mm -hmm. No, Jaja said you don't have shoppers or anything like that there with the $10 Mr. Bag. Yeah, so Jaja, Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada is like um, Walgreens in the States. We also have a Shoppers Drug Mart online. It's called the Beauty Boutique. And there's a lot of different makeup brands that we can buy online. And honestly, if we can get all the brands that Sephora has... I think at the Beauty Boutique from Shoppers Drug Mart, I would never shop at Sephora because we have this card, like an Air Miles card um, here in Canada that we can use at Shoppers Drug Mart. And every time you make some, you purchase something, you get a dollar for every, or a point. Is it a hundred points for every dollar? I think it's a hundred points for every dollar you spend. And sometimes you can get like all your makeup for free if you save your points. So it's a great deal. And if they had, if shoppers had all the brands that Sephora had, I would never shop at shop at Sephora. Can you imagine how much makeup we can get for free? Oh my God. Dana's going to hit up the shoppers and see if they have some. I think today was their last day, actually, everybody. Today is the 12th. Hi, Rosie. Shopper sounds like a cool store. You wish you had it. Tim Hortons came to the U.S., so why not shoppers, right? I am always on Twitter tagging brands I'd like to see in Shoppers Drug Mart. I think we all should do that, Canadians. Tag all the brands. Does anybody else um, do more of their beauty shopping at Shoppers or Shoppers Online than you would Sephora? A little bit of makeup. That's a pretty blush. So for those of you who got the Look Fantastic box for August, I think that was in it, the Bella Pierre. Have you guys tried this blush? It is so pretty. You had to go in with a light hand though, but it's very pretty. I like this blush. Did anyone else try it? Brada said, here in Quebec, your shoppers is farmer pricks. Okay. And you have a points card. You can collect points from Maxi, the grocery store. 
and a few other places on the same card. So, Brianna, are you able to um, shop in Quebec on the Beauty Boutique and have it delivered from shoppers? Oh, and our points card here is called PC Plus. Is it the same for you in Quebec? It's called an optimum card. Yeah, PC Plus, right? The optimum card? Oh, my God. Oh. Janet, yeah, you shop online shoppers. You got some stuff yesterday for free. Oh, good for you. I would, I swear. Anybody else like that? If you had a, um, if all the brands that you love that's at Sephora were at shoppers, you would only go to shoppers. Can you imagine how much stuff we get for free? Oh my God, we'd be killing it. How do you get the mystery box? You tried to order it as soon as you, as soon as you seen it, it sold out. Um, usually, Sylvie, they send you an email when it comes out, and it does sell out, I would say, fairly quick. So if you don't get it as soon as that email comes out, it does sell out, but usually it's just an email that they send you. It's PC Optimum now. Yes, PC Optimum. Yay, she's asleep, Roxanne. See, it's my boring voice. I swear, when I'm editing my videos, well, I don't really call it editing because I don't know how to do that editing thing but when I replay my videos before I post it I fall asleep like I'm literally nodding off going I don't know how you guys watch me because my voice is so boring I fall asleep Brianna's never shopped online from shoppers yet but you think so okay try going to try to place an order soon to see how it goes yeah isn't that great, Brianna? So even if you don't have like Shoppers Drug Mart, you still have that PC Optimum card. And when you sign into the Shoppers Drug Mart, um, and you probably got the PC Optimum app, right? The PC Plus app that you get your offers every week. Make sure, guys, you download your offers every week. That's how I make a lot of my points is by those offers, especially grocery shopping. Um, so when you sign into the Shoppers Drug Mart online, and then you know you're going to buy something. If you don't have the app, I think you put in your card number and then it comes up and tells you how many points you have and if you want to use your points. It is a great deal. Never ending laundry. Jaja, I have to do all that tomorrow. Madison goes back to school on Tuesday. You have a black screen? What? You guys have a black screen? Lorinda, you're good. Do you have a black screen? Andrea's good. Siobhan said just restart it. Rosie is good. I don't see anything here. I'm still live here. Jaja, don't. Okay. Okay, Sylvie did. She just had to resign. Okay. Oh, that's weird, right? Roxanne had to exit and restart. Okay. That is weird. I don't know why that happened, everybody. And Brianna's still there. Okay. It went to another video randomly. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Nope, Janet. It happened to a couple of people, love. Okay, good. That's good. I forgot to, um, I was supposed to call Sephora today about the freaking scammer. Scammer. Ugh. You know, I'm so bothered that that girl who tried to, you know, um, so I was the idiot. You know, it's my fault because I took a screenshot when I ordered the Natasha Denona Glam Palette and posted it on the Facebook page, right? The beauty Facebook page. And the order number was on there. So it's my fault for doing that's my stupid fault. So for those of you who don't know, so looking for a lip liner. I, I posted a screenshot when I ordered the Natasha Denona palette. And this girl in Newfoundland took the order number and called Sephora 
and told Sephora that pretending to be me, you said she was me, that she didn't get the Natasha Denona palette, even though it's still saying delivered on my account, right? Because I got it two days later. So she did that on Wednesday. So I need a drink, guys. Hold on. Sorry, my mouth is parched. So this chick, Jess, calls Sephora, pretends to be me, tells Sephora that she didn't get the palette, and she moved to another province. So I'm in Ontario. She's in Newfoundland. And Sephora decides, okay, thanks for calling. We'll um, send you a new palette. I, I think what bothered me the most out of all of that was the person was from Newfoundland. Like, that just really rotted me that somebody would do that. So anyways, luckily, Sephora sent me an email letting me know that this palette's on the way. And it had my name, my full name, but the address it had was in Newfoundland, in Deer Lake, Newfoundland. So, of course, and some of you guys know, I went through the process of, I spoke with Sephora on Facebook first. Then I called them, and I, the first three people I spoke to just, it's like they weren't listening. One guy says, it's okay, ma'am, we'll cancel the palette, and we'll refund your account. And I'm going, no, guy, listen to me. I have the palette. Don't refund me. I have it. That's you know, fraud, right? I don't want, and I think the big thing was I don't want to strike on my Sephora account because after so many returns, they'll cancel your account, you know? Anyways, and honestly, it wasn't until I was saying to the guy, like, listen, I have a YouTube channel. I need my Sephora account. Um, and, you know, I want to find out who this person is. Like, it's identity thief. I, I, if I want to, like, sue them, you know. So he passes me on to his supervisor. And I'm asking his supervisor, I need the email address that the person emailed you from. Because they're telling me the person emailed them, right? Which don't make sense because... Why would she email from her email address? So I think she might have called. Anyways, then I spoke with another supervisor and they said they're going to investigate it. Um, and that supervisor was like, I don't know why nobody asked her, her any questions. Like, where's your address? And what's your birthday? You know what I mean? Like, the, she wasn't asked anything. And you can see they have the whole conversation with the person noted with this girl, Jess noted on my account when she called to say that she didn't get the pallet. So um, I meant to call them today and I totally forgot because right now, bye Suwana, right now on my Sephora account, the pallet that I had that used to say delivered says canceled and resent or something. And then there's another order on my account from the scammer and that one says canceled. So I'm trying to get Sephora to take that off my account and put that my actual palette was delivered. So I forgot to call them today. It was such a crazy day. So I'll do it tomorrow. And um, I meant to call the police department in Deer Lake today. I don't know if they're going to do anything, but I want to call anyway just to go, hey, this happened. Um, but, uh, can you imagine? I mean, who thinks of these things? You know, like I'm sure we have seen people post their orders before online, you know, most people, I, I don't think our brains work that way where you're like, oh, there's an order number. Let's try calling and getting something for free. I mean, who thinks that way, you know? <clears throat> okay, I'm back. All right, um, you have the chat on your phone and video on iPad, your pet, okay. Your iPad went out, but not your phone. Okay, Roxanne. Brianna said she just did a random mock purchase from shoppers. And yes, you can get... Oh, good for you, Brianna. Victim should be blamed. She made a mistake. It was her that should be saying she was sorry. Yes, but I, I tell you, I certainly learned. And if you guys take anything from this, when you post something, make sure your address is not there. Make sure there's no order numbers or any numbers there. You know, learn from my mistake. There were enough red flags. Exactly, Barb. There were enough red flags for Sephora so for Security to kick in, and they didn't ask any questions, you know? And that's what the supervisor was saying. Like, he doesn't understand why nobody asked her any questions to verify. 
that it was her. She could have answered some of those questions exactly, right? Well, I had a birthday giveaway. Yes, so maybe she knew that. That's right, Roxanne. But she didn't know my home address. And I don't think my home address was posted there on that screenshot. Well, I so this is what happened. So as I'm on the phone with Sephora, um, I'm talking about it on our Canadian Facebook page, right? And so when I got off the phone with Sephora, and there was a lot of comments and stuff talking about it, um, someone had said to me, do you think maybe you showed on a video or you, you know, put a picture here on the page? And then the light bulb went off in my head. I'm like, oh my God, I did. So I go back through my post and I see that I actually posted the Natasha Denona palette on my page with my order number, right? So I write down in it going, yeah, I did. I posted a screenshot. And then one of the girls, Nixie, came to me and she said, well, do you have her address? Because the girl put in her actual home address. So for Sephora to send her the palette, she used her actual home address. So Nixie said, well, give me the home address and I'll do the Canada 4-1 reverse thing. I tried to do it, but my phone wouldn't let me. So she goes, does the reverse thing. And sure enough, there's this girl. So we go on my, she goes on the Facebook page and searches to see if she's part of the group. And sure enough, she is, right? So Nixie sent me the screenshots of the Canada 411 and all the information on her and then sent me the screenshot that she was on our Facebook page, um, screenshot of all the posts she made. So I write on my Facebook post now, we know who it is. So I'm, I'm speaking with Veronica about it, like what should we do, you know, um, should I say something here? What should we do? So as we're discussing it, I'm telling Veronica, okay, I wanna go say something to this girl. So like literally seven minutes after I posted it that we knew who it was, and now Sephora's gonna know who it is, you know, I let Sephora know who it was, the girl blocked me. Before I had a chance to say anything to her or anybody else, she blocked me and left our page. So, um, at first, you know, I wasn't going to say who she was and stuff like that. Because, I mean, I don't, you know, you see hate fest all the time. Social media can be like a witch hunt and it's scary, right? And I didn't want to be a part of that. But then I had so many messages telling me that what I was doing was wrong. And I should call her out because she could be scamming other people. So I'm like, okay, fine. Up here, she, you know, this is who she is, right? And then we find out that this girl is known for you know, being a hard ass, you know what I mean? So I don't feel bad now that I called her out because apparently, you know, that's what she's been doing, you know, with makeup and on makeup pages. And apparently her sister um, had wrote on this Newfoundland scamming Facebook page to not buy anything from her. So she's quite known for it. So I don't feel bad now that I called her out. But I just can't imagine people think that way, you know? Okay, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling, everybody. Oh, my God, I missed a lot of stuff. Brianna said, I still can't believe that someone tried to scam. Yeah, I know. The whole process went down. It sounded like it was way too easy for the person to do that, right? Sephora, you know, and I even asked the guy on the phone. I'm like, hey, can... Can we set up a password? You know, like when you call the bank, you have to give them a four digit passcode, right? So if it's that easy to scam from somebody else's account, they should have a system like that in place. Um, but he was like, it's a great idea. Right now, all they have is to ask for the birth date and your address. And I'm like, you know, they should have asked, you know, what's the last three things that you bought, anything like that. But it is what it is. Right, Rosie? Some people are just horrible. Oh, yes. Don't forget to like, everybody. You're going to go throw on a wet mask and watch Mulan. Okay, Miss Lorinda. Bye, love. Enjoy the movie. I tried to watch a bit of it a couple days ago with Madison, but we got interrupted. So I might watch that tonight or tomorrow because I'm going to spend tomorrow working. 
have an email that's different for stores and online too. Yes. Um, Sylvie's going to bed, sending lots of love. Oh, great, Sylvie. Thank you. Expose the scammers. You know, and I was trying to be, you know, someone's like, do the humane thing. Don't, you know, say who it is, right? She's got a little girl and stuff like that. But once I found out some of that information, I'm like, you know what? This girl's a scammer. She needs to be known. And I had one girl send me a message um, telling me that she, this girl, Jess, wanted her to hold some makeup for her. And so she said she would, right? So when she goes and asks this girl, Jess, hey, do you want this? Like, I've been holding it for you. Apparently, this girl, Jess, went off on her and started of saying everything to her. Um, someone else sent me a message saying that, you know, they're well known. Um, the family's kind of, you know, known and they're a hard case kind of thing. I'm like, well, I, I don't feel bad now. I really don't feel bad for saying who it was, you know? Okay. Janet, you're going back to your show? Okay, love. What time is it? Yeah, I'm going to be getting off soon, too. My Milani, everybody. Ian is barbecuing chicken wings, so we're going to have that for dinner. Oh, my God. So we went to three different winners today. Um, three different, like, shopping plazas to try to find the girls' backpacks. I ended up coming home and ordering backpacks from Amazon. What a mess. We couldn't find anything. It's insane out there. It was crazy at the stores. Are you guys noticing more people wearing masks or more people not wearing masks? I must say, wherever I've been in Toronto, a lot of people wear masks. There's not many that you see without. Your nan lives in Deer Lake? Yeah, Barb. And you know what, like as a Newfoundlander, I think to see that was so disappointing. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna do that to a fellow Newfoundlander, you know? Um, terrible. Where do I get my shirts from? They're always so cute. Um, oh my goodness, there's a store at a local mall here. It's not like, you know, a Reitman's or anything like that. And that's usually, I call this my work clothes. <laughs> so that's usually where I buy my work clothes from. It's from this little random store um, at one of our little malls here. I need to go shopping. I need to get some new shirts so bad and pants. I'm terrible. You know, because all of our money, all of my money goes to makeup. I literally need to go and get some new shirts and pants. I don't need any new bras, not any girls got me, or panties. I'm good with that. I'm like, my drawer is filled out with naughty knickers. I don't need any more, but I need new new shirts. And I don't trust like online shopping, you know? I have to try it on because I'm so short and my arms are so short, but my boobs are so big. So for me to get a shirt that actually fits, I hate shopping. I think that's why I, you know, buy makeup and shoes because that's not difficult but clothes shopping i hate going clothes shopping hate it i find it so depressing barb you always get your kids backpacks at costco yeah see and i didn't even think about costco and i just got a freaking membership for costco and we haven't even went there yet you know what i mean right barb mass are required there yeah they're required here you know, it's, I, people are pretty good. And usually, like, if I see somebody who don't have a mask on, um, I'm going to automatically assume that there's a reason why they don't have that mask on. Like, I know some people will go off on people who don't wear a mask. But I like to assume, you know, maybe they're not wearing a mask because they haven't, you know, breathing problems or something like that, right? Because it's not often you see people without a mask. So I want to believe that that's the reason why they don't have a mask on. Andre, you hear me? Roxanne, you love Costco? You wouldn't believe me. 
first time I've been to Costco was this summer. We went there to get, um, oh, was it this summer? No, it was last summer. We went to Costco to get Ian's parents' uh, anniversary cake when we had their anniversary party. I don't say anything, but I will not go near them. You're autoimmune and you don't care to be close to anyone, right? And that's, I'm going to assume the best that the reason why they don't have a mask is because for some reason they can't wear them because it's not often I see people who don't wear them. I'm going to, you know what I'm doing? We're going to put this palette on for those of you who know what this palette means. It's the, I think I love you. My Tati box, actually it's out on my table, Andrea, because I put everything in a big bag that I was selling. And I had the, I just kept the Tati in there because I was going to sell it, but I'm not now. Um, so it's out on my table. I just haven't put it back here yet because I really want to, I want to move my area over in that corner and I have to take down this background. Do I have a fall background? I can't remember if I had a fall back. I know I had a winter one, but did I have a fall one? I can't remember. But I, I really need, my room is in such a mess. Like, oh my God. Ian's dresser right now is full of my perfume bottles and nail polish and lotions. And that's his dresser. My dresser's got all kinds of cards on it and jewelry everywhere and three jewelry boxes. Um, what, my room is in a mess. I, I keep on saying every weekend that I'm going to gut out the room and totally go through everything but I never do I mean look it's Sunday tomorrow and I got a full day of work I have to do I don't have to work on Sunday but I got like eight pages double-sided of billing I have to do from the hospital so that's going to take me about eight hours and sitting at the computer for too long hurts so it's going to be forever trying to do that I think you do is that a T.Y. beanie named Maple? Yes, it is. It's the Canadian um, T.Y. baby. It's Maple the Moose. Maple the Moose. She sat in the box with Tati for a long time. Yeah. So I guess now we're just waiting for our boxes to show up. I wonder... Well, I figure top box is probably going to be the first box to show up for most people. If you haven't, if you didn't get the privé last week, then you'll most likely get the box next week. But after that, so I guess it's boxy charm. Then it's going to be weird this month. I'm telling you, not getting Ipsy going to be so weird. Somebody was saying that there was a new. A new Canadian and Lux box too. Yes, we should be getting that this week as well. Um, a new Canadian subscription box. Not the Affluence one, but something else. But I think it had mostly um, like drugstore makeup in it. Oh, you got the exact same one for your niece? Okay. Um, Guys, do you remember when I got that Chick Beauty Box, the first one in June, and the Maybelline palette showed up broken? I have been, since then, trying to get a replacement for that Maybelline palette. And, and now it's, it's principal now. It's not even about the freaking item now, right? They keep on emailing me because I got the, I got the May June box. And I got the July, August box and I canceled. And they told me that the replacement was going to be in my July, August box. And it wasn't. So every time I email them or I say something on Instagram, they say, well, send us an email. And I'm like, I have, I've sent you a thousand messages and probably seven emails. So I emailed them a couple days ago going, is this how your business ethnics is, you know, why would I want to rescribe? You know what I mean? Like, you, you sent me broken items, you didn't replace it, so why would I want to resubscribe to your box, right? So then we, they sent me back another freaking email telling me my I, item 
the replacement will be in my next box when I resubscribe. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, even BoxyCharm, you know, if, if you get a box, something's broken, they either replace it or they give you credits, regardless if you're subscribed or not. You know, same with Try Beauty Box. I paid for items to be full and not broken. Do you know, I'm just, this company has me bothered. I'm so bothered by this company. So the Chick Beauty Box. And I had sent them an email early on when I first was getting the box. And I asked them in regards to their products. Because, I mean, there's no way a Canadian subscription box that just started, that's not even a year old, is working with NARS or Tarte. You know what I mean? And that seems to be what they're putting in their box. And I asked if they're working with them or if they're buying from a third seller buyer. They would not answer my question. I asked on Instagram and I sent an email asking and they have not responded. So I'm like, you bunch of scammers. You're going and you're getting this stuff from a third party, which could have been stuff that NARS threw out. You know what I mean? Like, where is it coming from? And you're also, your customer service is so bad that you won't replace something that came broken. So I sent emails to every company in those two boxes that I got, everything that I got from those two companies. Um, I've sent them an email asking them about the batch code. Is it expired? Did you work with this company? You know, are you affiliated with Chick Beauty Box? So I'm waiting for their answer back. And when I get back, I'm going to do an email on it. Bye, Andrea. Is Dirty Little Secrets a company? Yes, it is. Dirty Little Secrets is a makeup company. Uh, this girl owns it. So the girl who owns Dirty Little Secrets, she also owns Steve Laurent. There's a couple of others. Do you guys remember the other companies that Dirty Little Secret owns? And it's been, it's been, um, it came out that she buys her stuff from Alibaba, sticks on some packaging and says, you know, she can buy a lipstick from Alibaba, you know, buy 5,000. So one lipstick will cost her 10 cents and she'll stick on some packaging and say it's $29 US. So um, that came up. Luna, yes, that's right. Luna Beauty is another company that she owns. And St. Luxie. I think we got some lipstick pencils, some lip liners from the company St. Luxie. And Dirty Little Secrets owns them as well. So they're subscription box fillers. And that's where she gets her items is from Alibaba. I mean, she's smart. The girl is only young. I think she had, like, her father gave her, like, $5,000 to start that company. Dirty Little Secrets. Like, she was very smart with what she did. They haven't, no, haven't done anything about it. There was a whole big thing on it last year, right, Barb? About that company, Dirty Little Secrets. And some subscription boxes are still putting her items in their box. Ipsy came out and said they would never put her items in their boxes again. So they took her off their, um, I guess, company list but I think like I think Manicadar does the same thing you know orders this here stuff from Alibaba for cheap and puts packaging on it this is my I think I love you it's one of my favorite palettes I've ever had yeah because of the gold moisturizer in the yes in the premium box barb and, and was that that was dirty little secrets company right barb whatever that company was called it was from dirty little secrets again so they bought this moisturizer and probably got it for two dollars and said it was over a hundred bucks us what a bunch of scammers and I don't think BoxyCharm, did they ever come out and say anything about that afterwards? Yeah. And see, some of these companies, like, we 
have some companies that we know and love and trust, and their products are made in China, in China, right? Um, but they're made, you know, China has, there's a lot of makeup labs in China. And some of them are really good brands and really good labs, like safe and clean, you know what I mean? But then there are some other places in China that make makeup. Um, and oh my God, it's scary. It's so scary to think that we're putting that stuff on our face because the labs are nasty. There's like rats running around. If you haven't seen it, hi, Sandra. Um, fascia was the name, exactly, the 24 karat gold in it. If you haven't seen the documentary that um, Marlena Stells from Makeup Geek came out with on Netflix, it's worth a try, go watch it. I don't remember the name of it now. Um, but to, you know, think of some of the makeup, you know, we get these brands in subscription boxes and we don't know what the lab looks like that makes it, right? And China's also got that law too that, you know, um, well, they don't mind using animals, you know what I mean? So we just don't know with some of these brands. That's why when I see something coming in a subscription box, and I think there is a way, right, that you can look up and see uh, how long the company's had, like, a website and stuff like that. If something comes in a subscription box and that website has only been up for a month, I think that's kind of shady. You know, that, that's an Alibaba brand. And I think BoxyCharm, there's a lot of brands that come in BoxyCharm that we've never heard of or seen before. I think they're kind of shady sometimes. And some of those brands are kind of shady. So we just got to be careful of what we put on our face. Look at the mess I'm making here. In order to sell in China, you have to test on animals. Exactly. Right? And did anyone see that documentary? I mean, that was scary to think that we're putting makeup on our face from companies, you know, that use brands or use labs like that. And some of those labs, it was just the nastiest. It's scary. So you got to be careful, you know, of just because it came in box, a charm box doesn't mean it's, you know, a legit um, brand. It doesn't mean that, not legit, but that whatever it is, is made in a really good lab, you know? So personally for me, like I know we have, um, I know we have brands that we love that's made in China, like Violet Boss, you know, but I want to see stuff that says made in other places unless we know for sure. You know what I mean? Unless it's a legit brand that we know we can trust, right? Oh my God, I love this palette. Love it. Right. Did I see how palm oil is attract, extracted? No, Roxanne, I didn't. Sandra, stop BoxyCharm. What's the name of the documentary? Does anybody know what the name of that documentary is? Uh, Marlena Stells, Netflix. Sometimes the ingredients are dangerous. Yes, crazy glue. Barb, you know I'm not going to be able to say that word. Asbestos. Rosie is going to search for the documentary. Oh, what palette I'm using? This is my ColourPop I Think I Love You. It's my favorite palette. And if you don't know, it's the very first palette that I bought from ColourPop. Um, I think it's two years ago, maybe, three years ago. But this is my favorite palette. It's If I'm in a rush, I, I can whip up a look in five minutes because it's just, everything is beautiful. It's blending it's pigmented it's not overly pigmented so i freak out and make it all crazy looking um the shimmers i can use with my brush like look how nice the shimmer went on my eye with a brush and usually i always use my fingertips but i don't have to for this palette i and it's, you know you know it's my favorite colors too right 
I love this palette. This one here has been, and it's been my favorite palette for a long time, Barbara. I think you know that. There is a YouTuber that won't try or use any of the makeup or products in a box if it's not cruelty free. Yeah, I think that is um, Raw Beauty Christie. If it's not cruelty free, she's not doing it anymore. She's not trying any of it. Okay. Yeah, Raw Beauty Christie, right? Sandra just ordered Going Coconuts and Garden Variety from ColourPop. You're just waiting for them. Oh, no, it's not her? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know who it would be. Might be called Broken. Broken, maybe? Everything proof is the same, too? Okay. Jen loves reviews. She's great to watch, too. Um when she does reviews on things because she'll go through all of the ingredients that's in it and stuff. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit too much, but oh well. And now I'm just going to take my little bitty. Boy, I tell you, I can't find a freaking makeup brush that I want. Here we go. Um, okay. Everything proof does only cruelty free. You, it's called broken. You think that this is it? Okay. I think that's what it's called as well, Patricia. Um, the documentary, I think it is called broken, but it's quite the eye opener when you watch it. Cause I didn't realize, you know, um, where the makeup, some of the makeup was coming from. You know what I mean? So you got to be really careful, especially when they show like in the video what some of these laboratories look like. And it's like, oh, my God. Name of the episode is called Makeup Mayhem. Yes, that's her kitty. Okay. Oh, I, I don't know who it is who makes only... I'm sure if you say the person's name who does videos on only cruelty-free makeup, I would know exactly who it is, but. Um, I don't recall right now. Her name is Kitty. Oh, okay, the girl's name is Kitty. I don't know if I watch her. I don't think I watch somebody whose name is Kitty. All right, I'm taking my man-eater. My favorite mascara is Man Eater from Tarte. What is your favorite mascara? I have a couple. I love Man Eater. I like the Hourglass Caution one. Um, Man Eater, Hourglass Caution. Um, also the Tarte Lift It, which we can't get here in Canada. I used to be able to get it on Sephora. I can't get this one here in Canada. The Tarte Lift It used to be sold at Sephora with like this kit. It was called the Tarte Gym Bag Kit or something like that. That's no longer there. And then if I go on the Tarte website to try to get my Lift It mascara, it's no longer on the Tarte website. And I'm buggered about it because I love that mascara. It was a brown mascara. But this one here is my favorite, the Man Eater one, which we can't get in Canada which is stupid. I don't understand why we can't get this at Sephora. Tarte is one of those brands that we need at, um, I think we need Tarte at Shoppers Drug Mart. Okay, almost done here. If I weren't on video right now, putting mascara, <laughs> if it was just me, my mouth would be wide open putting on mascara. Does anybody else do that? <clears throat> it Cosmetics is Roxanne's blowout. Jaja said you used to have Almay mascara all the time. 
I've never tried it. Rosie said, damn girl. Sandra said she's under the name on YouTube, Kitty's Boxes, and Jessica is on Everything Proof. Okay. That's how you put on mascara, right? I think everybody puts their mascara on with your mouth wide open and stuff. This eye is better than that eye with the mascara, but I'm not going to bother going back to it. Right. Okay, so I'm going to take off and go eat my dinner. Um... So I'm going to make that video tomorrow, picking the two giveaway winners, because I totally forgot to go through the comments today. Totally forgot. But, you know, that's my own fault for not getting up until 2 o'clock. Well, that's not true. I got up at 9.30, and I fell back to sleep around 11, and then I got up at 2. So, but hey, we all need sleep, right? <laughs> so I'm going to make that video tomorrow, picking the, the two giveaway winners. And I think tomorrow I'm also going to do my September giveaway. So like the first part of the video, I'll choose the winners of those two giveaways. And then I'll do my September giveaway. Um, and I'll probably pick that, you know, at the end of September. So I think, yeah, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. All right. Okay, everybody. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm going to go eat some chicken wings, too. So thank you for coming, everybody. Stay tuned for that video tomorrow. Good luck. And remember, um, I'm going to be having giveaways all the time on my channel. So if you see a 38-minute long video, stick with it. Because at some point during that video, I'll probably ask you something and there just might be a giveaway. Okay? Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Barb, I'm so happy to see you, sweetheart. I hope you're doing good. I'm sending you love. Um, stick with it, love. You're strong, and you know that. Okay? Bye, everybody. Let's see. What is that for? I don't know. What is that button for? Oh, that's not very good. What the gentle Lord am I doing? What? Oh, my God. What's that button for? Sweet honor of the Lord, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh my Lord, okay.